What is going on guys, Chucky Man here and welcome to my first of hopefully many Call of Duty Zombies Fury videos. So in today's video we're going to be discussing the connections between Mob of the Dead and all the Black Ops 3 maps and also Shadows of Evil and the Black Ops 3 maps. So basically there are lots of different things that connect to just Mob of the Dead and Shadows of Evil within let's say the Origins universe, okay? So first thing is the most obvious one which is the Mob of the Dead plane. So you see that just you see that plane everywhere okay it's on the giant on top of the roof on the catwalk and it's also on Zetsubo no Shima in the sky if you just look up you can see it exploding along with all the other planes it disappears quite quickly though but you can still see it up there and that's quite interesting to me because why why is the plane there why, what would the plane be doing there if it's in a completely other universe okay well here's where the theory part comes in so what we kind of know already is that the all the universes, as Rick Toth and travels between them, they all kind of like blend in with each other. They leak into each other in a way. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that whenever Rick Toth jumps universe, say he went from Mob of the Dead getting those blood vials to Shadows of Evil, that kind of started a wee crack in the dimensions. Like that wee crack opens up, and parts of it comes through. That part being the plane, and also even the laundry list that you see to get the 500 points to Charles Vivo. Okay, that happens. And then, whenever Rick Toffin goes to Charles Vivo to get the summoning key, the crack that he's already opened opens up a wee bit more, and Mob of the Dead stuff starts coming not only to Charles Vivo, but to the Origins universe, and Shadows of Evil stuff starts coming from uh, Shadows of Evil to the Origins universe as well. So there are lots of wee examples, even the littlest things, that you can just tell everything's blending into each other. So, for example, on the Rising Drac, you've got the truck that's there in Shadows of Evil. That's there floating, whatever it's doing, on the bridge part just outside the first door, the main door. And then you've also got in Zetsubo no Shima, in the distance, you can see the boat from Shadows of Evil, which is quite interesting, in my opinion. And then you've also got like lots just of little, little things, okay, that are blending in. And one thing I actually forgot to mention was that. Even the Origins universe, whenever you first travel from that, that's slightly blending in as well to Zetsubo no Shima, let's say. Okay, you can see the sky. The sky of Origins is this massive blue thing. It's like, I don't even know what it is. It's probably a Garfa or something. But you can see that there. And you can kind of see that on Zetsubo no Shima. Whenever the explosion happens and the Mob of the Dead plane comes out, it resembles the sky in that. Okay, so also, you get on Zetsubo the Shadows of Evil poster. If you notice carefully, it's inside one of the windows, I think, down in the, oh, what room is it, where the purple water is, where you can activate the easter egg song. And, yeah, you just get little things like that, which are quite interesting to me. And there's even, now this might be taking it a bit too far here, but there's even, like, just much smaller things, which you might notice, that are quite interesting to me. So you've got the, let's say, the dog heads on Mob of the Dead. Okay, you get those, you kill zombies, and you fill those up. And, as I say, it might be a bit too, too far, but under Ice and Jack, you shoot heads, or you activate heads, and they eat the zombies as well. So, you've got two heads, and they do the exact same thing, and you get a reward for doing them. That's quite interesting to me. There's even on, let's say, Shadows of Evil, you get the power. The way you turn that on is you go into a certain mode, and you shoot it with the electricity. That's what you do in Mob of the Dead. You go into afterlife mode, and you shoot it with the electricity. And, you know, you can see that those are the same. That's happening there. And that's really interesting to me. So, even just little things like that, they're all moulding into each other. So, yeah, what, what in the end does this mean? Is what I'm thinking. So, like, it means that all the universes are blended together. And, eventually, there's going to be so much stuff blending together. The crack that Rick Tolkien's created is going to get bigger and bigger. And, eventually, the universes are going to completely mould together and become one. And I think that's quite interesting to me. So maybe for DLC 4, that's what's going to happen. We're going to see loads of these universes moulded together. There's going to be parts of Shadows of Evil in there, parts of Origins, parts of Mob of the Dead, and parts of whatever new map is, like Dark Thoughts, whatever. There's, that's another video on its own of what that's going to be, the last map. But that's quite interesting to me, just how everything's blending together. And I want to see how this all ends. I just thought I'd show this here, share this with all of you, just so you can see all the resemblances and see if it, maybe whenever you're playing, if you notice any more as well. Okay, so that's really all I've got to say for this video. But I thought it'd be quite interesting for you all to know 
So yeah, I have been Chucky Man. Thank you for watching and goodbye.